Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar from the latest UKV half of the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as we do see northerly winds arriving through this evening for northern areas and for all areas through Saturday and Sunday. It's turning much, much colder and it is going to remain fairly unsettled with areas of showers and precipitation in general in the form of some snow across Scotland moving in. There is the chance of some more persistent rain into Sunday as we see a small low pressure system sliding down the western portion of the country. And again, it could give quite widespread light to moderate rain. And then as we head into next week, the sort of unsettled nature does not change at all, perhaps even turning more unsettled towards the final few days of October and start of November. But it will change in terms of temperatures. It will return close to average, potentially above average into the start of November. So more typical autumnal unsettled, but nothing too notable uh, over the next few days and the next couple of weeks. So do remember, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, I'll call this a little bit later on in the evening, around 9pm. And you can see on Friday night, we do have quite a bit of rain around. Now, this is all as a result of the back edge of the remnants of Storm Benjamin. Now, that uh, sort of severe low we saw moving through on Thursday. And just generally, the larger lows associated with it here can see spiring around Scandinavia. Just on the back edge, we've still got some of the lingering precipitation from some of the weather fronts. And that's producing some more persistent rain in places. Elsewhere, quite a few heavy or frequent showers. You can see heavier showers starting to move into Scotland. Most of these rain at the moment, but progressively in the coming hours, some of these will fall as snow over the highest ground of Scotland as we do start to see that cold Arctic air digging in. Now, do look at the temperatures this evening. You can see it's not too bad out there. We've got a lot of cloud around, so it's holding those temperatures up. But they will fall away quite rapidly across Scotland as we head into the early hours of Saturday and especially Saturday night into Sunday. Now, if you have a look at the latest UKV, you can see all that rain clearing through at the moment. And once it clears into the early hours of Saturday, you can see snow showers across parts of Scotland and the temperatures will plummet in the next few hours. You can see as we head into Saturday afternoon, it's actually pretty dry with this polar maritime air mass coming in from the north or northwest. It is dry, cold air mass, and that means that, yes, showers towards coastal areas, but inland shouldn't be too bad. Into Sunday, though, yes, could be quite cold and frosty in the morning for some, especially in the north and northeast. But you can see this low pressure system slides down the western side of the country and it gives some quite moderate to heavy rain at times, but most areas it should break up during the afternoon but a pretty miserable day there through sunday to the start of monday monday could start pretty chilly once again as we see some slight colder air digging once again on the back edge of that low but progressive during monday into tuesday heavier rain moves in from the west and this reintroduces milder air and then we go much more atlantic driven and settled there as we do progress towards the final few days of October. It doesn't look too bad because we, at times we are going to see some ridges of high pressure that could give some drier days here or there. So it's not an Atlantic onslaught the whole time, but I must say a lot of the time, low pressure is going to be nearby or over the top of us and it will be incredibly unsettled. If you look at the upper air temperatures, you can see much colder air is digging in from the north at the moment, and it's going to really prevail for all during Saturday into Sunday morning for slightly getting pushed away there into Sunday afternoon before returning with a vengeance once again into Monday for northern and northeastern areas. And then you can see as we head into next week, it turns closer to average, still a little bit on the chilly side, but a little bit better as we do progress to the final couple of days of October. If we look at the max temperatures, you can see this afternoon, not particularly mild, but just below average, really, around 10 to 12 degrees the most, high single digits elsewhere. Into the early hours of Saturday, could see a frost across Scotland where it's much colder, but elsewhere with that cloud still around, hold the temperatures up around the mid to high single digits. Into Saturday afternoon, low temperatures don't rise much, still mid to high single digits during the day, so actually not much of a diurnal range there on Saturday as a result of that Arctic air digging in. Now, it's the early hours of Sunday, this is where we do see quite a widespread risk of frost. Now, you can see a lot of the thermometer temperatures here are around 1 to 5 degrees across England and Wales. But in rural areas, it will definitely drop lower than this. Again, this is a high-resolution chart, but it, in terms of frosts and stuff, it is a relatively low-resolution 
especially when it can be so uh, sort of driven by microclimates. So even though, yes, one to five degrees widely, definitely some spots dropping below that. And you can see across northern England and Scotland, it could be fairly widespread, those temperatures dropping to freezing or below freezing. Now, to Saturday afternoon, that rain moves in, introducing slightly milder air, but it will make it still feel very cold, 5 to 9 degrees, as we do see a lot of cold air getting trapped at the surface. And then once again into Monday morning, cold across Scotland, milder further southwards with cloud and rain. And then into Monday, still a pretty cold day, but slowly those temperatures bumping up. And you can see by the middle of the week, back into the low teens, close to average once again as Atlantic air moves in. Now, if you have a look at the latest GFS, you see the northerly winds pushing in at the moment, heading much, much colder through the weekend. Progressively, though, we eventually see a westerly flow arrive into next week. And in time for Halloween, unfortunately, it is looking pretty unsettled. Low pressure systems are close by or over the top of us. Not a particularly stormy spell. You see the isobars aren't particularly close together. There could be quite a lot of heavy rain around. The only kind of positive, slight positive, is it's a bit of a west to southwesterly wind, which should mean it is a milder wind direction. But at the same time, that could add moisture and increase the heaviness of the rain. So again, it is going to be one we'll have to keep a very close eye on the UKV over the next couple of days to see what that is showing. It is, though, setting the theme, though, for early November, as you can see, just generally westerly flow looking unsettled and relatively mild with that westerly wind moving in. Now, if you compare to the GM, it's probably very similar. Northerly winds at the moment, much, much colder. Westerly flow into next week, and again, for Halloween, low pressure sat close by or over the top of us. There's a chance the far east or southeast could have a slight ridge of high pressure there, which won't mean it's bone dry everywhere, but could mean it's more likely to be drier than not. But again, I wouldn't kind of bank on that. As you can see towards day 10, it turns incredibly unsettled once again. Isobars do become more tightly packed. So it does become perhaps closer to getting towards those sort of stormy conditions, but still no sort of succinct lows there that we need to keep a very close eye on. So definitely looks like it's turning out a lot more unsettled, but also mild into early November. You can see it's a westerly flow, lots of warm Atlantic air getting picked up. Um, but at the same time, uh, to be honest, at this stage, prefer a little bit of a colder, drier pattern than seeing wet and windy conditions, lots of soggy, gloomy days out there if the runs are correct today. And finally, if we finish up looking at the latest ECM, though, we have those northerly winds moving in. But then, as I said, into next week, turning incredibly unsettled for Halloween. Again, we've got these lows nearby, but they're a little bit more succinct and deeper, which could produce a more stormy spell. And at the moment, the centres are well out into the Atlantic, so hopefully shouldn't influence us too much. But if this was a few hundred miles further eastwards, then we could be looking at another big storm system here. One to keep a close eye on. Out to day 10, though, we've got this ridge of high pressure towards Eastern Europe that's really trying to develop. And what that does, is it kind of halts the Atlantic a little bit, probably not enough to prevent precipitation over our shores. But what it does do is it brings up a really mild southerly wind and it could actually go incredibly mild there into the early portion of November. So just altering the jet stream slightly, still keeping it from a westy direction, but perhaps allowing more of a southerly tilt at times with its amplification allowing warmer air to move in. Now, if you finish by looking at the latest ensembles, if we do just quickly refresh this, you can see it's cold, but staying a little bit drier over the next couple of days, especially in the south and the east, where we've got the drier air masses moving in. Into early next week, though, it returns close to average, and by Halloween, we're average upper air temperatures, but the rainfall really starts to pick up again, and that sets the theme, as I said, for early November, where it is looking average to maybe slightly above average temperatures, but incredibly unsettled so it's not going to be ideal there at all sea level pressure you can see it's pretty much up and down over the next couple of weeks no notable big lows there but neither big highs either so i think the kind of oscillating pattern between low pressure and high pressure is definitely going to be one setting a theme and if we look at the dew point you can see they are cold over the next few days at times very cold down towards the freezing point or below freezing just showing you how cold this air mass is but longer range, most around the 5 to 10 degree range. It looks like, at least for now, this is a cold snap, not setting the theme for November.
If we do finish by looking at the latest ECM WF, the midday run is just coming out, and you can see it's not too dissimilar to the GFS. And if we have a look at the midnight run just to get the longer term outlook, you can see it is in strong agreement to the GFS and all the other operational runs we looked at, where it is average to above average temperatures into the first third of November, but incredibly unsettled. Again, it's not going to rain every day, especially further southwards you are, closer to potentially that ridge across Europe. But in these sort of scenarios, pretty much anywhere could see some precipitation on any given day. And it'll be lucky if you get a full day without rain. So there will be some bright sparks out there. But generally speaking, it is looking like a pretty gloomy, dull and wet and windy start to November and potentially even end to October. Fingers crossed for Halloween. But that's something we'll keep a close eye on over the next couple of days. It all depends on that low pressure system timings and potentially small ridges moving through. That's something we'll look at the UKV, though, of course. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.